Welcome to Stay Brainy, Stay Curious. It's time for another set of riddles and brain teasers. Today's video is going to be full of numbers and math. Sharpen those brain cells and let's get solving. Let's start with your favorite brain teaser, the matchstick riddle. If this is your first time, let me clarify the objective of this puzzle. As you can see, the equation below doesn't make sense. Your job is to move one matchstick to make this equation correct. Which matchstick do you move? A few basic rules. To make things universal, the numbers made by the matchsticks must look like the ones you see on the screen. And putting a match across the equal sign does not count. One last look at the equation. Do you know the answer yet? Guess what? There's two possible answers to this riddle. The first possibility is to take the middle matchstick from the 6 and make it a 0. You'll be left with 9 minus 2 minus 0, which equals 7. The second possibility is to move the left vertical match from the 9 to make it a 3. We then move that matchstick to the minus sign in front of the 6, making it a plus sign. The new equation now reads 3 minus 2 plus 6. Working from left to right, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1 plus 6 equals 7. Perfect! Did you get at least one of the possibilities? This math brain teaser is asking you to set up an equation using five threes and make it result in number 10. You have all the math tools at your disposal. Feel free to be as creative as you can. I'm going to give you some extra time to think, but don't hesitate to press the pause button for more time. We came up with five different variations that will result in number 10. Can you get at least one? The first solution is probably the simplest and most obvious one. Many people successfully came up with this answer, and it's basically putting one division sign between two threes and plus signs between the rest. Where you put the division sign doesn't really matter because you will always solve division first, which will give you one, and the rest is just adding the other threes together. No matter where you put that division sign, it will always result in 10, be it 1 plus 9, or 3 plus 1 plus 6, or 6 plus 1 plus 3, or 9 plus 1. The second variation requires a little more thought. Let's multiply the first three threes together, which gives us 27. Then we add 3 to it, resulting in 30. Take all of that and divide it by the final 3, which makes 30 divided by 3 equals 10. Awesome! The last three variations are quite advanced and rely on using exponents. Our equation looks like this. 3 to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus 3 divided by 3. We know from order of operations that exponents are solved first. So we have 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. Next, we do divisions. The first division is 27 divided by 3, which is 9. The second division is 3 divided by 3, which is 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Next possibility goes like this. 3 divided by 3, take all of that to the power of 3, and then plus 3 times 3. Brackets first, which means we solve 3 divided by 3, that's 1. Then exponents, so 1 to the power of 3 is still 1. 
Next is multiplication, so 3 times 3 equals 9. We're left with 1 plus 9, which again gives us 10. Woohoo! Finally, the fifth variation. This one is genius level. 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 in brackets, then plus 3 times 3. In case you didn't know, any non-zero number to the power of 0 equals 1. So if we solve the numbers in brackets first, 3 minus 3 equals 0. And we know that 3 to the power of 0 is 1. We now have 1 plus 3 times 3. Multiplication first, so 3 times 3 is 9. And 1 plus 9 is 10. Incredible! Can you come up with more variations? If you can, share your genius in the comments. Let's move on to something slightly easier, shall we? The next riddle goes, what three numbers, none of which is zero, give the same result whether they're added or multiplied? The numbers are one, two, and three. One plus two plus three equals six. And one times two times three is also six. I bet you got this one, right? Next is a little math problem. Ben's working out at the gym. He picks up a dumbbell that weighs 1 kg plus half the dumbbell. How much does Ben's dumbbell weigh? Nothing too difficult here, but might be tricky if you don't know how to go about solving it. If you want to mull this over, feel free to pause, otherwise we'll start breaking it down. Let X represent Ben's dumbbell. Ben's dumbbell weighs 1 kg plus half the dumbbell. Written mathematically, we'll have x equals 1 plus half of x. Now we have to move all unknowns to one side. Uh, let's move half of x to the x on the left side. Whilst we do this, we must remember to change the sign from positive to negative. The new equation now reads x minus half of x equals 1. x minus half of x is simply one half of x. Multiply both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of the coefficient, and we get x equals 2. So Ben's dumbbell weighs 2 kilograms. Our fifth and final riddle is a math equation that tripped up many people. 6 divided by 2, open parentheses, 1 plus 2, close parentheses. What do we even do first? If you're new, you might need this refresher on orders of operations. Bidmus tells us to solve brackets first, followed by indices, then division or multiplication, and finally addition or subtraction. If you're from the States, it's exactly the same rules. We just call brackets parentheses and indices exponents. And once you're left with the same operations, always remember to solve your equation from left to right. Let's get solving! Brackets are solved first, so we must solve 1 plus 2 first. That gives us 3. If you see a number written outside the brackets with no operator, meaning mathematical symbol or sign, like in our case, 2 open bracket, 3 close bracket, then that number should be multiplied by the contents inside the brackets. 2 with 3 in brackets is equivalent to 2 times 3. Now we have 6 divided by 2 multiplied by 3. We work from left to right, so 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. 
So the correct answer to this equation is 9. Whoa, my brain is fried. If you managed most of these riddles, you should be so proud of yourself. And with that, I leave you today. I hope you learned something new. I hope you had fun. And I hope you always stay brainy. See you next time.